All right, all right. Start a new, start a new series here. It's called how to how to teach you scrubs how to play Tetris. Let's begin the lesson. Uh, anyway, to introduce myself, my name is Dan. I'm not a champion at Tetris 99 or anything, but I think I'm better than most people. I think for the amount of time I put into this bullshit a day, which is, you know, maybe I play a few games. I get my tickets in, you know, then I'll play like a few Tetris 99. Sometimes I fuck around with that Invictus, but not too often. Because really, like, nobody's playing Invictus. I'm not trying to play the computer. But, yeah. So, you know, where I'm at in this game is I, I can consistently get into the top ten, usually. Unless there's, like, you know... So, it seems like certain times of the day, there's a lot of people playing. So, anyway, to start off, if you're a noob at Tetris... Lesson one here is that see how everybody else playing is just fucking going as madly fast as possible. You don't have to do that. There's no, you don't get extra points for getting more lines. Actually, I kind of think that getting lines all the time kind of slows you up. It might be a hindrance. Like, look, I could probably, whoa, holy shit, somebody's attacking me. They're trying to fuck up my, uh, I'm trying to fuck up my tutorial here. Anyway, as you oh, what is it? this is going way wrong. Sorry, we can bounce back still. Well, holy shit! Somebody's gonna pay for this. As you can see, I'm getting doused with haterade right now. This might not be the. I might not even have to. I might not even be able to post this video to be honest. Oh my stars, what is going on here? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, okay, uh, Oh my god! Okay, we're, we're looking a little better. I might still post this video, it's not embarrassingly bad at this point. I feel like I've, I've done something now. But anyway, I feel like I haven't, I haven't taught you guys anything though, is the problem with this video so far. Like, what did you learn? I got out of that tight spot. Unless your your lesson here is don't listen to oh shit. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought I had more than I did. Oh my stars. These people are trying to kill me. I'm trying to ruin my how-to video. Anyway, so the lesson first of all was you don't really have to hustle as hard. Usually. Sometimes if Sometimes the haters are just out there and the algorithm just points them right at you and there's nothing you can do. And you know, honestly, sometimes I think that the algorithm knows like when you're taking it slow and they think that like you've set the controller down or something, they just try to get you out of there. So whatever Nintendo's algorithm is, it just automatically tries to get rid of you. But I was hoping to give you guys a lot more tips than I have been up to here. So anyway, now that things have calmed down a little bit, I could try to teach you a little bit more. The way I play Tetris is, you know, you have all these, you see all these pieces there. Like, you really don't, I hardly ever look up there. At least that's how I play. I know some people are trying to plan their next moves and all that. I don't think it's necessary. See, like... You have to just maintain what I like to call Tetris Feng Shui. Meaning that... God, these motherfuckers are not leaving me alone. Fuck off. I'm trying to do a tutorial here. But anyway, like, what I try to do is maintain, like, a landscape where no matter what comes, I have a place to put it. You know... At least that's ideally what my, my game is. Obviously, I have to make some, uh, what would be the word, some concessions. But for the most part, it works. And you try to avoid things like, like this sawtooth I got going on here. Sawtooth is like when you have like the little, oh shit, I can put that there. Maybe that was a bad move. But anyway, um... 
sawtooth meaning that like when you have like the little one a gap and then a black and then a gap and a black and there's really nothing you can put there except for uh fuck i'm about to die see here's one of the tricks is just never give up never give up danielson because you know you never know you might pull something out of your ass Oh, you sons of bitches. Oh, my God. See, that's why you never give up, kids. You don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if that was that valuable as far as it, it wasn't that valuable as far as a tutorial goes. Except maybe it just told the lesson was just never give up. And don't make mistakes as often as I do because... That last piece I put down there was clearly a mistake. Like, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going... I don't want to say I'm getting flustered because that would be admitting weakness. But there was a lot going on. Shit. Why did I do that? What is going on here? It's giving me some shit-ass pieces, too. You know, like, a lot of Tetris is just luck. So, like, if you have a bad game, don't give up, kids. You know, keep battling through it. Now, let's see here. What else? What else should I learn you? Anyway, back to that thing. Like, there's certain ways. If, if this game had gone a little bit slower, as they sometimes do, maybe I could have taught you some, something about, like, what I call Tetris Feng Shui. Which is really my secret to success with Tetris is, as I briefly explained, I'm always looking for, I'm like, I try to create a landscape. Oh, what the fuck was that? I'm trying to create a landscape here where no matter what piece comes, I'll have a place to put it. Which means, you know, you just don't want to put pieces in a certain place. Ah, this one's getting... This is an intense game here. Fuck, where am I gonna put that? Oh, shit! I thought, I thought the lion was coming next. See, I'm not even that good. Oh, shit, what have I done? This is the end, my friends. I don't think I'm gonna win. Anyway, you know, it could have gone worse. I, it, for a minute, it looked like I was going to die at, like, level 90. I mean, 90th place. That would have been pretty embarrassing for a fucking instructional video. But, um, gosh. I wish we could zoom in on some of these ongoing games, because then I could kind of talk about what's going on. But you know what? We'll continue in part two. Hopefully, it'll be a game where I can explain a little bit more slowly what I'm doing. But, you know, or maybe I'll try playing later tonight when there's less people playing. Usually those those games go a little bit slower. Anyway, hope you liked the, the video. Like and subscribe.